Hello, everyone. I am back this week with another Nicolette Career Musings. And as always, I am going to share the broadcast. And I would love for you guys to do the same. Um, let's see. I'm on the air. Join me now. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, all right. So I'm going to talk about, um, hi, Christy. Hey, Callum. <laughs> Good to see you guys. I am going to talk about something that should get everybody to thinking about skills and what you can do with those skills. Yeah. Hey, Christina. So that's what I am doing. And I always love it when you guys join me. And I would love for you to share the broadcast so others can join me as well. And then I can do my introduction to those who don't know who I am. But I'm going to be on, um, let me see, my, uh, to my Career Hackers Forum group. Yeah, share there. And share there. Okay. So I am sharing the broadcast, and I've done that. All righty. Okay. So, um, yes, I'm not looking the best professional today because I am in the heat of moving. So I'm packing and all of this kind of stuff. So my location will look different um, next week. <laughs> so I am moving over the weekend. So I am just here. I got a Be Bold t-shirt on. <laughs> Hashtag Be Bold. And I am working myself out. However, I have the wonderful Fitbit. And um, having a Fitbit on is uh, going to track all of my steps and stuff, which is good because any little exercise I can get, I try to take advantage of, especially when, I'm gonna, when I don't get a chance to get down to the gym. So, hey, Keela. Uh, so I would love for you to go, hey, Shalaya, miss you guys. <laughs> so if you can, share the broadcast, and that way we can uh, get more people on, and then I can start um, sharing this great information with you guys. But I want to, oh, no, 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 no. My friend is calling me. <laughs> so I got to decline and tell her um, I am doing my show. Well, anyway, <laughs> so share the broadcast, and then I would get, um, then um, I will um, get right to it. Okay? Yay! So my topic today, let me find my notes, and then I can get started. Okay, so my topic today is all about, um, oh, for those of you all who don't know me, I am Nicolette Barrett, career development and LinkedIn strategist, helping you land the job of your dreams and create a career that rocks. That is kind of bright, isn't it, y'all? I don't like all of that. Ugh. Let me try to see if I can bring this closer so it's not so bright. It's still kind of washing me out. But anyway, let me see. Hold on. Oh, okay, that's a little bright because it's blinding me. I don't know if it's blinding you guys, but it's sure enough blinding me. But anyway, here I am. So you all see some of my scrapbook stuff. But I am Nicolette Barrett, career development and LinkedIn strategist, always coming to you guys most Thursdays, a lot of Thursdays, um, except for something crazy is going on, on Thursdays from 6.45 p.m. Central Standard Time to give you guys some tips about resume writing, interview prep, career development strategies, job search strategies, LinkedIn strategies, or what have you. So I'm always on here giving you guys some help, and I would love that you share the broadcast. Get on my Facebook page, I Rock Resumes. Give me some kudos. Rate the page. If you all are enjoying this information, please rate the business because I am the business, and I would love for you guys to rate um, my service and all this information I give you guys for free. I really do appreciate it. So today's topic is all about, um, if you can't find a job, what else can you do? I had the pleasure and privilege of doing a job fair today. So I did a job fair, a free resume critique, 
And in my review of a lot of resumes, I saw some amazing skills that people um, have, you know, skills in technology, IT, nursing, um, uh, management, project management, all types of skills. And it got me to thinking a lot of times when we're in between jobs and we're in heavy pursuit of an actual next opportunity, so you've been laid off or, you know, you've been let go for some other reasons, or you may have just said, you know what, I'm leaving a toxic environment. So for whatever reason that you're out on the job market or even if you're looking while you're at work, you can think about what can I do if I needed to leave my job right now or in between, what can I do? And I always say, look at your skills. Look at some of the things that you already do on your job or outside of your job that you can actually make an income that will kind of bridge you in between while you're looking for something. And who knows, it may turn into an actual entrepreneurial career for you. Entrepreneurship is indeed a career. It's just not about going to work for someone. You may be able to work for yourself. Now, granted, I know everyone is not a business owner. It's not for everyone. I'm not saying you have to do that, but I'm just saying in between, you can just sell some things. You can sell your skills. You can sell your knowledge. You can even sell something, even if you are a CEO of a company but you are a mean baker. You can bake the best pies and cakes or what have you. You can do that on the side while you look for your next CEO gig. Who knows? It doesn't matter. Whatever skills that you have, there is money to be made. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on some things that you can do and think about. At least it'll get your mind spinning about some of the skills that you have um, in your back pocket that maybe you can pull out. And if you guys think of something that I haven't thought of, put it in the actual um, comments, okay? Then we can read off those as well. So freelance writing. Yes, I am a resume writer, LinkedIn writer, all that kind of stuff. And, and people have asked me as well, well, can you do website content? Can you do regular editing? Yes, I can do all of those things. So, so for example, if somehow business have sl slowed up where I'm not bringing in enough resumes or bringing in enough res revenue, I can always still take my skill set of writing and editing and do it for a book, say, for example, or do it for marketing copy or do it for something like that. So I'm taking that same skill set and doing something else. So if you're a great writer, there are lots of small businesses that are looking for people to edit their um, documents, edit their blogs, or even write blog posts for them because sometimes we can't get to those. We have great knowledge. If we give you the basics, go ahead and fill in all of the information and write. So that's a great way to make some money. Um, take online surveys. Yes, you will get um, paid for those. So think about online surveys. Think about what, sign up for them services. I'm sure if you Google it, something will pop up. You could do that in your spare time, a couple of hours um, on the weekend, especially, or maybe an hour or two during the week. Say, for example, I'm only going to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do that just while you are looking for another job. So that's an opportunity. Um, let me see. Now, everybody has a lot of things in their closet. I just, because I'm in the midst of moving, I was blessed with an opportunity for a stylist to come um, over to, to my house as she's trying to build her business. And she did a closet, closet audit. We got rid of over 60% of things in my closet on yesterday. And it, within those 60% of things, at least 20% is going to the consignment store. The other 40% trust me, nobody, <laughs> nobody will want it. <laughs> I didn't even want it. So it, you know, it's not necessarily good. Some things are going to dress for success. Some of the suits I don't wear anymore because business casual, but for dress for success, they can utilize the suits. The other stuff just basically went in the garbage. So therefore, think about things that you can sell online. Now, the stylist asked me, did I want to sell the stuff myself online or what have you? I did not. So you can do eBay and you could do other things that other websites where you can actually sell your items. Um, eBay, what else is out there? Um, Etsy, not Etsy. It was another one that you could sell. I can't remember, but whoever can think of it, let me know. But Posh, Poshmark, that's it. Poshmark. You can sell things on Poshmark or you can take it to a consignment store because I just want someone to do it for me. That's fine. Bigger percentage taken, but I don't have to do the work. So think about that. Then um, 
Of course, the good old services, driving people around. You don't necessarily have to be a part of Uber or Lyft. You can just, a lot of senior citizens can't get around. That You want to only do a great service to help them, you know, run their errands or drive them around to different doctor's appointments. You can also make a little cash doing the same thing. Something economical for the senior citizens because they are on fixed income, but you'll also feel good about giving back as well. So that can, you know, take up your time and it's always so wonderful to gain so much knowledge from our seniors. I love sitting amongst them learning and, <clears throat> and talking with them. So you can do something like that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. You can also do design your own t-shirts. There's a um, lady that I know. She um, is a hairdresser. But what she did was started her own t-shirt line and they are some of the cutest t-shirts and they're all biblically based and they're if she has like spins on them so she took the bible verses and bible sayings and actually spend it to um, brand her or what she what she's about to do it's like um zendaya speaks if i'm um correct but she does those and that is something that that's part of something that she does because sometimes you know business may be slow maybe everybody's not getting a high level service for their hair they may you know just to bring some extra income in why not do it and then her partner in the business has a um, clothing boutique inside of the um, salon I know because I bought a cute blue um, set um, uh, sequin skirt. I can't wait to rock it. Well, anyway, very nice. But anyway, you can do stuff like that to bring in extra income. So that's one of the things that you can do. Let me see. Are you a seamstress? Are you good at sewing buttons on and sewing hems and, you know, repairing minor um, things on clothing? But not to say that you can make a suit or make a dress, but you're very good at sewing. You know, sewing machines these days are like $59, $69. You can get them at Hobby Lobby all day long with a um, coupon. Not Ho uh, Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, Joanne Fabrics. Think about that. And then people need those kinds of things, missing buttons on outfits that they need to actually. My hair is really killing me, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> oh. You know, to have buttons sewn back on, maybe something on a sweater had ripped and needs to be mended back together. Think about things that you can do. And going back to the baking, you can bake, bake pies, bake cakes, or what have you, just to bring in extra income. Or, hey, just blew my mind. You can even do small meals. If you are a cook, and you already cook for your family, but there's a couple of people that you know who would love to have your meals on a regular, add a little bit more to it and sell those plated dinners to help someone who don't have time to cook. So these are just general ideas that I'm giving you about what you can do to sell some of the skills and things that you have that, that you are in, in your closet will have you so you can make money. Now, on the other side, from the professional, what if you are project management? Start freelancing project management. What if you are very good in workflow analysis and creating workflows? I hired a lady who looked at my whole business and created a whole workflow for me from when the customer comes in all the way to the end. She did that in corporate America. Now she's package it up and selling it to small businesses like me what if you are great at marketing knowing how to put together marketing campaigns do you know how many small businesses will love those services what about secretarial services administrative type services people are always looking for virtual assistance there's many things that you can do while you're in between jobs looking for jobs and maybe even like I said find your next passion and find it maybe as an entrepreneurial thing so i just wanted to make sure you guys knew that there's opportunity out there for you while you are in between jobs looking for a job and just using your skills really using your skills to hone in and make some extra cash i hope this information was helpful for you guys if you all can think of anything else that would be very beneficial uh, for people who are in between jobs to make some extra cash please place it in the comments. Those comments, um, um, everybody, everybody can see that and actually can utilize that. But thank you all for joining me. And I am going to go back to doing all of my packing, <laughs> finishing my packing, because the movers will be here first thing in the morning.
All right. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next week. Same time, same place. And in the interim, have a wonderful rest of your week. And for all the mothers out there, have a blessed, wonderful Mother's Day. Enjoy yourself to the fullest and get some rest. The number one thing that women said that they wanted or mothers said that they wanted is rest and a spa day. Make sure you get it. Treat yourself. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day. Bye.